Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this one I'll show you how to easily record CSGO clips using the start movie commands with HLAE. So first up what you need to do is head to advancedeffects.org and download the latest version of HLAE here. And then head over to virtual dub and download the latest version here. Once you have them both, extract them to their folders. I recommend extracting them to somewhere easy like your desktop. And once you have both folders extracted, open up the HLAE folder and launch and launch HLAE. Make sure you click yes for updates, go to tools, developer and custom loader. For program path, what you need to do is find your csgo.exe. Mine is located in my Steam apps folder on my C drive. Uh, yours will depend on where you have it installed. For command line, I'm going to be using a custom resolution of 1600 by 720. Uh, you can also do this if you want, but that's up to you. And then for DLLs to inject, what you need to do is find the AFX hook source DLL, which is located in your HLAD folder that you extracted. And because I want to use reshade with my uh, CSGO, I'm going to be injecting the reshade DLL. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to set up reshade. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, once you have everything uh, set up, all you have to do is press OK and CSGO will launch. Once CSGO is finished launching, you should see this Valve Anti-Cheat notification pop up. Just press OK, that means it's working perfectly fine. Press Shift F2 on your keyboard or type demo UI in the console and press load and go to somewhere where you have a demo and load it. I'm just going to use a random demo that I have. Make sure you copy the tick number to get to the frag easily. Once you're in the game, type demo underscore go to tick and paste the tick number you copied earlier to get to your frag quickly. After that, you can uh, disable the HUD like so. And once that is done, you can go ahead and exec your movie making config if you have one. And I'm going to do that right now. What you need to then type is host underscore frame rate and set the frame rate to whatever refrain rate you want to record to. I recommend 300. Once that is done, what you need to type now is host underscore timescale and set that to zero. And if you want to record sound, what you need to do is type merv underscore SND timescale and set that to one. And once that is all done, to start recording, what you need to do is type start movie, movie, and then uh, name the file. So I'm going to name it Glock uh, underscore cache. And press enter, the movie will start recording, resume the demo, and it should be playing really slowly. And because I want to use reshade, I'm going to go ahead and press my reshade bind and enable it, like so. And all you have to do is now leave it till the frag is finished and stop it once it's done. Once you finish recording, all you need to do is type end movie, and that will stop the recording. Then you go ahead and quit out of it. And then what you need to do is open up the virtual dub that you downloaded and go find, uh, go to your CSGO directory and uh, you should scroll down and you should find a bunch of TGA files. Just click on the first one. Once you've opened up the first TGA file, it should pop up here. And for some reason, mine is not popping up in that screen, but whatever. Uh, what you need to do now is head over to video, click frame rate. Set the frame rate to whatever you recorded at. So I set mine to 300. So that's what I'm going to set it to. I selected no audio because I can add that in later. And what you need to do now is select compression uh, to compress the file a bit because it will be huge. Uh, there's a bunch of codecs you can use, but a lot of these are external, so you have to install these separately. Uh, the one I use the most is X26 or VFW or the Xvid MPEG 4 codec. But if you don't want to use any of those, you can also use a lagger and lossless codec. That also works pretty well. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use the XVID codec. What you need to do is select that and then save the AVI. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to name it the same thing like that and press save and then that will render out. Once it's finished rendering out, you should see the video file. And if you go into properties, you should see the file size should be fairly small. 
and the file size should be fairly small, not overly huge. And once you've uh, rendered out the clip and you no longer need the TGA files, what you can do is head over to your CSGO directory. I'm going to leave a download to this bat file. Then what, what you need to do is just double click it and it'll delete every single one of the TGA files and it'll free up the space. And then here is the sound file. I'm just going to paste this on my desktop as well along with it and then you can go ahead and edit with that. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. Uh, be sure to join my Discord server if you have any problems. And make sure to follow me on Twitter uh, for channel updates. And I'll see you guys in the next one.